Hey there YouTube, Arbonus69 here. Today we're going to have a look at my QNAP box. This is the TVS951X. Now I did do an unboxing video a while ago and I'll link it up here for you. And um, that shows you the initial setup and the unboxing process for this NAS. Now when I bought this, uh, I did skimp a little bit and I cheaped out and bought the 2 gig version. It does have a free sodium slot inside and today we're going to have a look at installing this Kingston X um, DDR4 2400 sodium RAM module into here to give it a grand total of 10 gig of RAM. Now the main reason I'm doing this is for my Plex Media server. But anyway, um, when I do do the upgrade, I know it is a little bit fiddly, so I'll try and get you as much detail as possible. And I'll do my best to uh, show you the steps involved to upgrade the RAM. But before we do, we'll log on to the laptop and we'll have a quick look at the initial specs of this QNAP box. Almost forgot. If you do attempt to do this, it's at your own risk and I take no responsibility for any data loss or damage you might incur to your QNAP NAS device. So, with that out of the way, let's get back on with the video. So here we are on the desktop, if we launch QFinder Pro and launch our NAS box. We will need to log in. Oops. And once logged in, if we click on control panel, we'll see up the top here when it populates, there we are, memory 2 gig. So now what we need to do, if we shut the NAS box down, we can start taking apart and upgrading the RAM. So let's take a look. So before we make a start, the first thing you need to do is you will need some sort of sticky note and a pen as you will need to label each drive to make sure they go back in the same slot. If you don't, you do stand a chance or you probably will break your NAS array. Now, it is easy to find out which slot they go back into as they are numbered. So let's take a closer look at the NAS and you can see where the numbering is. So as you can see on the front of the NAS box here, if we zoom in a little bit closer on the top, you'll see the numbered base one, two, three, four, and all the way down the end to five. I've only got the first three or so of NAS base populated. So we'll need to make sure we label these up as we take them out. So if we take the RAM out of the way for now, push down on the tab at the bottom, that unlocks the drive, pull the tab out at the front, like so, slide forward, and that's drive number one out. So what we'll do is, we'll get our sticky note, pop that on the front like that, and we will just stick a number one on there, and set the drive to one side. Do the same for drive number two, pop it down, pull the tab out, slide the drive out, and again, get your sticky note, pop it on the front, and mark that as number two, and move that to one side. The reason we do that is to access the additional RAM slot. It's tucked away just behind this panel, and you need to remove these drives to get to it. So I'll see if I can get a closer look for you at that. So as we look at the front of the NAS box, you can see we've got the two drives removed. And if we pan around to the side here, you'll see there's the large opening where the RAM goes into. And if we try and get the camera around, there you can just to say see one RAM slot that's already populated, that's a bit better, and one there that is empty. And that's where we're going to put the second slot of RAM. Now, as I said, this is quite fiddly to get access to. Um, looking at this, I might want to remove drive 3 as well. So I'll go ahead and remove drive 3 and we'll come back to this in a second. So there we are, with drive 3 removed, you can see we've got a much larger opening to get access to the RAM slot just in here. So, now we'll try and install the RAM. So as I said, this is the RAM that I've bought. It's a HyperX DDR4 SODIM at 2400. So if we open this up, get into that, like so. There is the RAM slot, sorry, there is the RAM. And now I need to try and install it into that. So I think um, it might be easier if I tip this on its side, like so, and offer the RAM up. It will only go in one way due to the, the notch in the actual RAM itself. So I'll install this because I don't think you'll be able to see anything with my hands in the way, and I'll get back to you in a second. So there we are, I've installed the RAM. We'll take a closer look at the RAM installed, and I'll tell you how I installed it. So there you can see the RAM is installed now. Now to insert the RAM, it's just a case of 
propping it in at an angle, almost to what it's at at the moment, and then just pushing down on the top of the ram stick and it will click in. It should go in very, very easily. If it's not going in easily, it means it's not going in correctly. Don't force it, you will break it. And you'll hear a nice little click once it's located from these pins at the bottom here and at the top, just up there. So now that that's done, let's put the drive bays back in and move on to the next step. So now what we need to do is get our drives that we set to one side. Remember, we labeled them up, offer them back up to the slot, slide them back in, lift the tab up, locate it home, push down, lock it in place, take your number off. And repeat that for step for drive number two, back into slot two. Once it locates, there it goes. Slide that one in, push the tab down to lock it, and then lock it in place. And then lastly, drive number one. Again, slide it into place, lift it up, drop it in, lock it down, lock it up, take your tab off. And that is all the drives installed. So now we need to connect it back up to the network and the mains and power it up and connect to the laptop. So here we are back on the laptop again. If we relaunch a QFinder, connect to our NAS and log back in again. Once this is loaded, if we again go back into control panel, we should now see, there we are, 10 gig of RAM usable by the NAS. So there we go, we've successfully installed our new 8 gig RAM on top of the 2 gig that's already in there to give us a full 10 gig. Job's done, job's a good one. So there we are, that is our new 8 gig of RAM installed in the QNAP TVS 951X. It's a fairly painless process. The hardest part is actually getting the RAM stick to locate and connect into the actual sword in slot. Other than that, it's very, very painless. Do me a favor, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please smack the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, but please leave me a comment below. And also, if you can mash the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, helps out immensely. Until next time, take care.